So it seems there are about 70 entries into the Aglet One High design contest. These here are the 15 shoes that won. Sadly, mine wasn't chosen, but with so many creative entries, I knew the odds weren't ever going to be in my favour. And if you're watching this and your design was chosen, congratulations, you really deserve it. Just watch out because I might try and take that number one away from you. But I've got today off and there's nothing really happening in the Aglet world today. So I'm making Becky's advent calendar. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to set up, but I'm sure it'll make her happy. So what I'm going to do is attach all this string onto the blank wall here and then fill these bags with like chocolates and maybe candles i'm not too sure yet i need to go to the shops and buy them i'm using these pegs i'll hang them with these numbers to dictate which day of the month it is onto the string and then that'll be your advent calendar that she can take one off every single day of december this is probably going to take me a few hours to set up i was thinking of just like doing a time lapse of it but it will take a long time so yeah i guess i'll show you what it looks like in a few hours so i've actually opted for a different approach i've decided to tie it across the room and across to the mirror over there because i figured that tape on the wall just wouldn't hold up the weight of the string and the bags and whatever's in the bags so i guess i've just got a permanent washing line in the house for the next i don't know month oh well so i've threaded the string through all these different hang tags now i'm going to head out and get stuff to fill the bags with and then put them up on the lines now a few hours later it may be hanging a bit low but as you can see we're finished I don't know about you, but I think I've done a pretty decent job here. But yeah, creators drop tomorrow. I'll see you there. We're out multitasking today, making a video and we're getting our walking. So today's drop is huge. This drop alone is about two thirds the size that the shop was before this drop happened. So I'd be surprised if many of these shoes sold out anytime soon. We've already had the winning shoe, the Aglet One High Dark Web sell out, and it'll be unsurprising to you when I tell you it's efficiency. So first up, we have the shoes I'd recommend using Sneaker Shine with. That's gonna be every shoe that I talk about while I'm on my walk outside. Then I'm gonna head home and tell you the shoes I recommend using dead stock stations with. To speed this process up, I'm gonna rattle them off fast and then say the Sneaker Shine efficiency rating straight after. Then after the sneaker efficiency rating on some of the shoes, I'll give you a comparison shoe straight after. So you'll have a reference point from a previous drop. So here it goes. The Aglet One High Love, 26. The same efficiency as the Cortez OG. The Aglet One High Chicago, 28. The Aglet One Hawaii, 32. The Ilya Strakichev ISDKV record, lightning colorway, is rated 37 when using Sneaker Shine. The same efficiency as the Campbell Suits. The Aglet One High ADHD, 43. The Aglet One High Pink, 58. The Clement Fernandez Topos 0.4 Good Life, 61. A similar sneaker shine efficiency to that of the Aglet One Ghost. The Aglet One High Unity, 85. The Aglet One High Pelvis, 97. The Aglet One High Turbo Donuts, 97 again. Similar to the New Balance 327 Casablanca. The Fanny Ram Lal Pay Zen Z Vegan Pop, 109. Matthew Schwetz NR Concept, 119. Aglet One High Worn to Adorn, 128. Aglet One High Birthday Cake, 129. A similar dead stock efficiency to the Aglet One High Dave Runner. All those shoes should be repaired with 60% sneaker shine at 40% remaining wear for maximum earning efficiency. Now we're almost at the tier two dead stock station. I don't have anything to repair except for these blue Lugas here, so next time I visit here, I may end up preparing a tier 3 shoot. So I overlooked the fact that that beluga there didn't have any repairs left, so I am going to actually have to move to a tier 3 shoe, and it's going to be these, the Dior Jordan 1 Lowe's. I haven't used any of the repairs on these, but let's make them shiny. What you wearing? Ultra Boost ATR glow in the dark so that's that shoe repaired one repair remaining on those so we still have six shoes remaining to talk about from today's drop these six shoes i recommend using dead stock stations with and that is due to the efficiency of the shoes being much greater when using dead stock stations compared to sneaker shine and all but one of these shoes can be repaired at every single dead stock station in the game that lone shoe being the tier two winner the dark web. So let's dive into these shoes. First of all, we have the Aglet One High winner, which isn't actually the winner, but I rate your confidence. This shoe has a dead stock efficiency of 248, making it a slightly better grinder than a previous best shoe we've had, the Nike SB Dunk De La Soul, a shoe that is absolutely clogging up my shelf. 
And the fifth highest efficiency shoe from this drop is the Aglet One High Bin Dipper. I mean, Liverpool. This shoe comes in with a dead stock efficiency rating of 253. The fourth most efficient shoe from this drop is the really clean looking Aglet One High SNES. Coming in with an efficiency rating of 367, a huge jump over the 253 rated bin dippers. And this shoe actually places it above another previous best grinder shoe we've had, the Black Fear of God one. Coming into the podium places for this drop, the third best grinder from this drop is the long awaited Aglet One High Meat Grinder, rocking a dead stock efficiency of 398. Second place is the Finrush Taylor FRT1 in the Indigo Blossom colorway. And this comes in with a dead stock efficiency of 444. And lastly, the winner of the player design competition, the Aglet One High Dark Web, rocking a banging dead stock efficiency rating of 493. This efficiency rating places the Dark Web right in between the sprint sample and the dash greens as the second most efficient purchasable regular aglet shoe of all time. But sadly, I can't recommend you go buy this pair because it's already sold out. Which means my suggestion for what you should be buying should stay the same. If you have the funds, the My Adidas Ultra Boost NYC is the best shoe you can be grinding with that's available in the shop right now. And if you can't afford the 35k for that, get the 26k FRT1. Both of those are tier 3 shoes, so you should have no issue dead stocking them. And if it turns out you need to use sneaker shine on them, well, they're still the best shoes out there. That's it for today. I hope you've copped plenty shoes today, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.